Welcome back, my loves. Well, time for us to go to Taters, y'all. <laughs> I love this sign. Ladies' Night Tonight Men's Wet T-Shirt Contest. Oh, my lords. I love everything about this. Wall of shame. <laughs> there might be clues in there. I'm being nosy, going in the manager's office. Let's see, surge protector, cap, potion stamp. Pump ring. Thought I just saw a ring. Picking up what you're putting down. Right, there we go. Save. Close cap. Coat hook. Coat hook and purse. Coat hook. Or is that a handle? Nope, it's coat hook. And the purse. That's my purse! I don't know you! Uh, I love that show. Tavern employees. Oh, welcome to the drink and swallow, stranger. You here to pick up that carryout order? Uh, or the chicken gumbo? Oh, never mind, Shug. I thought you was here from down the road a piece. Just as well, I guess. Our cook Lamont didn't bother showing up for work again tonight. Something about his gorda acting up on account of the weather. Well, say, you look like you know your way around the kitchen. Would you mind seeing if you could cook up that gumbo? It goes to the angry fella lives down the lane. <laughs> the one that shot at my face? Sure. Why are we using the chicken with the monkey paw? That's how you know. That's how you know it's gonna be good. That's how you know it's gonna be good. If the place where the gumbo is made 
the place where the food is made doesn't make you scared for your life, it's not going to be good. Just don't waste your time. Fish head. We'll do that in a second. Good God. Hmm. It's just how you know the food is good. If there's not health code violations, are you actually doing it right? There's a whole toaster inside the sink. I'm done. <laughs> I quit. <sighs> this restaurant is a whole health code violation. And I'm here for it. Gumbo to the neighbor down the lane. I mean, I guess. Well, look at here if it ain't my supper. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about it being delivered by some stranger. You know, folks around here, we don't take kindly to strangers. I noticed. Mr. Who? Oh, you must mean that fella moved in next door. I, I wasn't aware he'd gone missing. All I know is he's keeping odd hours and, and poking around here like he lost something. I also heard that that couple they hired to clean up the place is into the devil magic. The devil magic, you say? What is that? You know, voodoo. I hear tell Mary Lee does the cavorting with the spirits and such. If I were you, stranger, I'd keep my distance from that one. She's just trouble looking for a place to happen. Uh, you don't want to go mess with that. No. The house next door has been subject to speculation for a long while. Now, I, I can't tell you much about the house's history, but I can tell you this. It sat there empty for as long as I can remember. I'm surprised the Lawsons decided to move in, with it being cursed and all. Of course, they're not river folk like us and probably don't carry much sense. <laughs> curse? The curse of the pirate Phineas Crown. Some folks believe that house next door was built by him and that his ghost still walks the halls, keeping an eye out for folks trying to steal all his treasure. Listen, stranger, I'd love to talk with you more about this, but my wife's been nagging me all week to get that old air conditioner fixed. <laughs> How about this? Why don't you take a look at it and get that thing fixed, and then I'll tell you all I know about that pirate. It's not I'm repairing. That was a lucky guess. I didn't even know that was a thing I could pick up. But, well, here we are.
Haha. Let's see. Fan postage postage. Let's see. Star fan. Toilet paper. I don't know how toilet paper is gonna survive down here. I have no idea. Kitty. Frying pan. Frying pan. Oh, I got a pickaxe too. Yay. Hmm. Last bread. Telephone. Bunsen burner. Seat belts. Okay, now what kind of fan are we talking about? That kind of fan. All the stuff I get to find. Crowbar, collar, shovel, clothespin. Firecracker chain. Shovel and firecracker. Hmm. Firecracker. Shovel, shovel. Who's got the shovel? Shovel. Shovel. Am I going to be burying something? I might. Hmm. Nice touch. <laughs> Steve Frog. Come on, I spike the green thumb. I swear we go. Hey man, single handedly towards robbery attack. Single handedly. Cause he's got a hook for a hand. I see what you did there. Set me on an anthill and rub jam in my ears. 
If that's the sound of my old air conditioner running, you just made yourself a new best friend. Now you just tell me what old Cooter can help you with. Okay, bruh. <laughs> like I was saying, folks say the famous pirate Phineas Crown built that house next door. Some say he's buried in the cemetery down the road. <gasps> folks around here are smart enough to stay clear of that place. Are they now? Oh, Phineas Crown was a wicked one, all right. He used to run a smuggling operation out of New Orleans in the 1700s and eventually got into pirate in the Gulf of Mexico. He and his men would sneak up alongside trading ships in the middle of the night and <laughs> everyone on board. Instead of looting the ship, he'd steal the whole dang thing. Hmm. No one knows what happened to the ships he plundered. Some folks say he sailed them right up the Mississippi and into the swamps around here. When he got too old for pirating, he built a big old mansion and threw a party. And it was there, people say, that a horrible fire broke out and killed every last guest. Every last guest, you say. Hi, detective. Welcome to Louisiana. My name's Charlotte. Why don't you cool off with a nice cold glass of lemonade? <laughs> I take it you've had the misfortune of meeting my other half, Cooter. Good mercy. Where did I go wrong to marry that sack of bricks? The acting in this game is pristine. Just pristine. Yes. We finally have some new faces just down the lane. I still should throw them a proper housewarming. I'm afraid Cooter doesn't like me leaving the house as he is just plumb sure that I will run off with another man. Anyway. I just spend my days watching my stories and working on my doll collection. Mr. Crickets belonged to my dear mother before she passed, rest her soul. You see, mother was deathly afraid of snakes. And since snakes are afraid of parrots, well, she found a feathered friend and a protector in Mr. Crickets. I apologize for the vulgarity the bird has learned from my loathsome husband. <clears throat> oh, my dolls are my pride and joy. The doctor told us years ago that we should not have children because of Cooter's temper. But. Their tiny voices console me at night when I wish that I had made better life choices. <laughs> Aside oh from God. Mr. Crickets, my dolls are my prized possession. I only need one more to complete my collection. And there's one in that game down at the tavern. But I've never had the good fortune of getting it out. <laughs> Well, let's go back to the tavern and see if we can't win Charlotte that doll. But we'll have to do that on our next episode. But we also get to introduce ourselves to this fine gentleman here. <laughs> This should be interesting. But thank you so much for joining me, my loves. If you like what you saw, by all means, smash the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I will meet you back here for more shenanigans. <laughs> this is getting interesting. Take care of yourself. I guess every dog should have a few fleas. <laughs> <laughs> I love the accent in this game. Oh my god. But yes, I will catch you next time, my sweets. Take care of yourselves. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.